My name is Chris Aguilar. Most of you know me through videos I produce for primary for quick weight and for bark paddle boards. You know, I think Casey Goucher said it once when he wrote that uh, sometimes you can suffer from sup burnout. And this year especially, I think I've been suffering from it. It's been a really hard year for me. I had a relationship's end. And just a lot of changes I never could have predicted or seen coming. I've been lucky. I've been supported by uh, Joe Bark and Jim Terrell, two of the kindest people you ever meet. But And all the time I've spent documenting other people's adventures, I sort of forgot to have my own. And in the chaos of my personal and professional life, I sort of lost sight of what paddling's about. Usually when I travel, it's with a team. This time it's just me on my own. I mean, staying with people that I don't even know. We've only met each other through Facebook and maybe an occasional text conversation. My first stop is going to be Nashville to meet up with the Mason brothers to shoot a quick show for them. Then on to Naples, Florida to meet up with Kat Wichesi crew that's putting together uh, stand-up paddling for the Special Olympians in Florida. <laughs> My name is MJ Weibling and I'm a volunteer slash coach slash chaperone for Special Olympics Collier County. And it's, it's, for the athletes it's been excellent. People that don't think they can get out on the water, they can swim 25 meters, they can get on a paddle board and go out and learn how to paddle. They're, they're making great progress. Exactly. You know, it's, it's, it's even, you know, like I said, seeing, seeing the smile on the parent's face because they get to see their, their kid having that, that moment. So it's, it's, it, all, it all comes around and, and it's all for the good and all for these kids and what we do. Kids' faces after they get, get, get done with a, a day on the water and, and, you know, for some of our special, special needs kids that, you know, never even thought about getting on a paddleboard are, are now, you know, making progression towards getting on, on the board by themselves or just holding a paddle in their hand and, and doing a couple strokes and you just you just see the expression in their face and it, it, it just that's what it's all about right there. Um, they have to develop balance they don't already have it. Um, they have to, some of them have to overcome the fear of the water or going out deep where they can't put their feet. So then the next thing he went out a little further sitting on it and they let him push him out pull him out. and then the next thing was he would go and he would stand on it, right, just really right in the little, you know, the beach area. And then he has great balance, but he has a lot of fear issues. Now, in the past few weeks, they're, they're getting him to stand, they're getting him to go out a little further, and he's starting to feel like the, uh, like the, the joy of it now. Now he's starting to like let go of the fear every time he lets go of it for a little bit, and he just feels like, wow, this is cool. And then he feels proud, and he feels really happy to be part of it. Your name? Michael. Do you like paddling, Michael? Yeah.